Want an easy go-to dinner that you can have once a week if necessary? Calzones and or pizza is absolutely one of them. Let's jump into how I made it. We start off by absolutely doing some snacks for our three kiddos. This is cauliflower. We cut the cauliflower up nice and small, season it up, and then just put it in the oven until it's nice and golden brown, a little bit of olive oil. Let's give it to Allegra, the little one, see what she thinks. Mm. What do you think? Hmm, good, thumbs up. She likes it. And seconds. Now this flour, you've got some options for the flour. You can make your own, and I'll make a video of how I make this flour. It's super easy, and you can absolutely do it, but you can also buy some store-made um, uh, dough to be able to get that going. You want to get that folded out and rolled a lot longer and wider than you would think because it shrinks up. Fold it in half, that way you can move it over a little bit easier. And set that aside. We're making two of them tonight, one for mom and dad and the other with the kids. They'll have their own calzone with some of the easier stuff. For ours, first thing I put on there is some garlic. Seems kind of weird, but it grabs a lot of flavor and brings that too. Rosemary, crush that up, dried rosemary. That helps to add a lot of flavor. Do a little bit of red pepper. Oh, and some coors. Mushrooms. And then I cut up some uh, mozzarella cheese and put that on here in just a little bit along with that pepperoni. Make this a super tasty dinner. Now, one thing that we do to keep the kids entertained while cooking is to give them a bunch of flour to play with. So you can see Allegra has a blast and the kids got a little bit out of control with this one. I always find that when things look like this, I could get very frustrated. But I kind of look at it from the kids' perspective. It's easy to clean up. I take a nice deep breath and once we get that vacuum going, everything works out pretty well. If you want some tips on how to kind of calm yourself down while you're stressed out during situations like this, there's a link in the description below. There's just a quick free guide that you can look at that talks about how to calm yourself down even more. All right, on to the kiddos pizza. We give olives, the kid loved the olives, pepperoni, and then we've got that cheese that we're putting on top. So I've got both of these folded up and here's the process for how I fold up this one. Obviously you can see we bring it across since we put it only on one half. And then basically you're almost just wrapping it over itself. So it seals in, doesn't leak out too badly and has a nice little crust that can be used specifically for dipping later, which we'll show you. Score the top so it has some place for that um, steam to escape. And then olive oil on the top really helps to ensure that uh, it doesn't burn right away and it can cook nice and thoroughly. Put this one in. I've already got the other one in on a stone surface and that takes a little bit longer to cook. Getting that flour off I find using that little spatula helps rather than trying to just wipe it with a wet cloth. And then clean up here. Now that's Meyers bottle, but it's actually not Meyers. It's half vinegar, half water. Actually a little bit less vinegar to water. I've been using that for years. It's a great way to clean. A hey, quick tip for how to get a lid off of a tight jar. Learned that a long time ago. It saves me a lot. That dipping sauce is gonna be great later. Trying to keep messes from happening. These pizzas drip everywhere, so I always take that and put it underneath the one that's dripping. Adjust them in the oven just a little bit so that they're not um, cooking unevenly and then putting that drip pan right there on the bottom. All right, we're cleaned up and we are getting all the bowls ready, plates ready, and about ready to start dishing up You want to check the bottom when you pull these out just to make sure it's not raw. This one looks about good. I cut it in thin slices that way so that the kids can eat it pretty easily. And then you can see here comes ours. 
on that stone surface. It took a little bit longer to cook, but it cooks a little bit better in my opinion. Of course, you gotta have the red wine and that Laudimo olive oil. I'll put a link of that in the description below. It's fantastic to dip over the top. I've got a couple of other links in the description below of things that you might be interested in. Um, any of the cooking uh, utensils, things like that, um, by all means, feel free to take a look at those. It's an affiliate link, which means I get a brief um, commission on it, but you don't pay any difference. Now cut ours in bigger slices, obviously, and get that set and ready to eat. This is our absolute favorite dinner. Give it a shot and let me know what you think after you get it going. And uh, if you're a dad listening to this, welcome to the community. We love talking about ways to be better fathers and better husbands. Hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments how it went.